hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to generate a globally unique identifier or GUID with your C sharp application so the first question comes into mind is what is a GUID or a globally unique identifier so if you search on Wikipedia according to Wikipedia definition a unique ID or a globally unique identifier or GUID is a unique reference number which is used as an identifier in computer science so whatever you GUID you will generate it will be usually of 128 bit values and it's shown in 32 hexadecimal digits and whatever GUID you generate it's believed to be unique so it's unique for every user or as you generate GUID from your computer it is believed that this GUID will be unique and only possessed or generated by that computer only so GUID is can can be used in many application where the uniqueness of a particular object is required for example we have been working on the MySQL database with C sharp application and I have been showing you this database in MySQL and how to use this uh, database with the C sharp application so one use of GUID could be you can assign a GUID to a particular employee so that that unique ID or unique identifier can only be possessed by only one employee and that GUID cannot be possessed by other employee so you could be able to distinguish two employees even if they have the same name or surname or everything the same but that unique ID will be different so that can be one use for GUID and you can think of uh, the use different uses of GUID in your application so let's uh, make a code which generates GUID so for what first of all I will take a button and I will change its text as create GUID so every time I click this button it must generate a new GUID every time different GUID for me so how, how can I do this I will just double click this button and I reach to the button click event of this button and here I will write the code so write string I will name my string as new GUID is equal to system dot GUID dot new GUID dot or first of all bracket and then to string okay because your GUID is a hexadecimal number or it is represented in hexadecimal that's why I am converting my GUID into string by this code so dot to string is converting my hexadecimal into the string which I want to show and now I want to show this GUID every time when I click this button so I will show it with the help of message box message box dot show bracket and bracket closed 
and just double click this or copy this uh, new GUID string variable and paste it inside your message box okay and now when you run your program it runs and I will give username and ID it's correct and when I press this button it should generate a GUID or globally unique identifier for me so let's see yes it has generated a globally unique identifier and it every time I press this create GUID button it will generate a different GUID for me so every time a different GUID okay but in many of the useful app application you don't want to show these dashes in between your GUID you just want to show it as a continuous uh, code without these dash in between so how to remove these uh, dashes I will show you now so just in the code which you have written go after two string and here we will write dot replace bracket and bracket closed and in here we will pass two arguments one and two sorry one and two and in here first argument you will pass which you want to replace so you want to replace your dash and second argument you will write what character you want to replace the dash with so I don't I, I want to replace my dash with nothing that's why I'm leaving these double quotes empty so it will just remove my dash from my GUID and let's see how now my GUID looks like so when I click this create GUID it is a continuous hexadecimal digit number with no dash in between but still it looks a little weird because the hexadecimal number or hexadecimal codes are generally represented in capital letters so this C or D or F I want to represent as a capital letter or uppercase letter so now I will show you how to change this lowercase letter to uppercase letter so I will just close this and then I will once again go to my code and I will write here after my replace code write dot to upper okay and bracket and bracket close I think okay so write this and now when you run your program And when you click this button it gives me the GUID which is a hexadecimal code in capital letters wherever any letters are present so this GUID is more useful and whatever what I can use in my application so this is a very uh, useful uh, code for GUID okay so you can use a raw GUID also you can use it with dashes you can use it with small letter also but I have shown you how to convert this GUID in different form according to your use so I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now